Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 31st of January. Got a whopper of a winter storm about to impact much of the central U.S. up toward the Great Lakes and around here. Uh, we've got some convection maybe to deal with tomorrow night, certainly heavy rain. Uh, let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots. We'll talk about it first off coming from Tuscaloosa. Overcast conditions in place, but uh, not much rain. The uh, rain we had this morning uh, moved out as expected by mid-morning. Here's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam coming from the King Building up in Walker County. Again, the sky there cloudy and pretty much the same sky down in Lee County at Auburn. Maybe a few little peaks of sunshine there from time to time. Well, there you go. You can see the uh, uh, trough in the southwest, the southern branch, the trough over the north central states up in the northern branch. We'll see phasing and a uh, huge blizzard setting up for parts of the central U.S. in uh, the next 36 hours. But no blizzard here. We've got readings as warm as 60 at 2 o'clock in Muscle Shoals. Uh, generally not as warm as forecast today. We thought everybody would be in the 60s, but the clouds have been hanging tough. Uh, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa at 59. They'll probably do low 60s before the day is over. But certainly it's awfully mild. Radar 227, not very much. Maybe a few sprinkles over parts of Perry, Chilton, Bibb. Dallas and Otauga counties, but uh, most locations will not see rain for the rest of this afternoon. Pretty much the same thing uh, tonight. But boy, look at the numbers up north. Checking the national temperatures. Goodness, uh, uh, looks like it's about 15 below zero in the core of the cold air coming down across the Canadian border. You got uh, readings in the 80s on the Rio Grande of South Texas. And yeah, you know something's got to give. And there you go, just like your. December Christmas tree, that thing is illuminated brightly, the watch warning map, all the way from uh, Texas up to New England. And to keep in mind, on the southern flank of that, uh, we're talking nasty icing, uh, potentially. Uh, and again, that's, you know, often we think of, of, of snow and ice as only being hard to forecast down here across the deep south. Understand, there, there's issues where this thing's going to cut off. Uh, you'll get this warm air advection, it all goes to rain, and uh, a degree or two difference can mean the difference in a crippling ice storm and a cold, rainy day. And some folks will have to deal with that up around the Ohio River, but certainly in the core of that, it's going to be very nasty. In fact, we'll just show you the uh, RPM snow output. Now, again, this is not ice. This is snow accumulation uh, for the next 72 hours. The uh, big strip will be from uh, near Oklahoma City and Tulsa up to Springfield, St. Louis, Chicago, especially the southern suburbs of Chicago, uh, Detroit, and then over into uh, New England. And you can see a lot of bright green in there uh, south of Chicago. That's uh, 20 to 24 inches, almost two feet. And you combine winds of 40 and 45 miles per hour, and that's going to be a raging blizzard. Visibility down to near zero at times. Whiteout type stuff. Pretty amazing. Now, of course, in the warm sector, uh, let's look at the severe weather possibilities. This is the day one convective outlook at a slight risk for the Texas Hill Country over toward uh, Interstate 35 in Austin and San Antonio. Tomorrow, there's your risk for uh, Tuesday, and this is uh, uh, includes almost all of Mississippi, southwest Alabama. Uh, and that would include, uh, again, Mobile, Washington, Escambia, uh, and Baldwin counties, and that's about it. And then uh, the western tip of the Florida Panhandle. All of Louisiana, South Arkansas, and East Texas. And that's going to be one of those weird deals where, like in Arkansas, down there in the south, you've got a severe weather risk, and up in the northwest, you've got a major ice and snowstorm going on. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, just low end probabilities over Florida, the peninsula there. And again, we are not in any formal risk, but considering the dynamic forcing involved, we'll have to watch it. We've been through many of these cold season systems with no surface based cape, and you wind up with some issues. There's the overall rain expected for the next five days. Precipitation, we'll say. And, of course, that strip of uh, stuff there from the Red River up to Chicago, that's your snow and ice. And uh, down here, heavy rain, 3.8 inches is the bullseye. Not too far from Bainbridge, Georgia. And, again, 1 to 2 inches likely here coming late tomorrow and tomorrow night. Let's look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. There's your trough uh, phasing up nicely off to the west. And a nice diffluent flow aloft. And down below that, there's your surface low. This is noon tomorrow. Surface low near Crossette, Arkansas. And again, you can see just blizzard conditions for Tulsa, Oklahoma, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, maybe Fort Smith and Fayetteville, Arkansas. 
And, of course, we got the warm sector here. There could be a shower tomorrow morning, but the bulk of the rain comes later. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Surface low is under 1,000 millibars north of Jackson, Tennessee. And, uh, again, the blizzard uh, rages on from Tulsa up to uh, St. Louis. Begins to uh, deteriorate in Chicago. And around here, we'll have rain and storms. Go to Tuesday night at midnight. The surface low is on the Ohio River. Again, under 1,000 millibars, the uh, rain beginning to move out, and by midday Wednesday, everything's gone. Now, there's a look at the instability. This is valid tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock local time, and that is uh, MU Cape, most unstable Cape. This, basically, this is elevated instability. And again, I'll tell you, there's no surface-based Cape, none. But there is elevated instability, uh, almost, uh, what, uh, 500 joules? up through uh, parts of East Mississippi and West Alabama. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. You know, Again, I'm telling you, we have had issues where little small spin-up tornadoes have come down with no thunder and no lightning, and that might be the case tomorrow evening. Uh, and, of course, the, the shear values are off the chart. That's the uh, zero to one kilometer helicity. And, again, it's pegged. And that might be too much. That might disrupt the updrafts because these things will be low tops. So uh, we still think the main window for the rough weather, the heaviest rain, 4 o'clock until midnight tomorrow. Uh, greater chance of severe weather, obviously, to the south and west, but we can't rule out some issue around here. It's just going to be a matter of watching the radar. All right, let's go to Thursday, and here comes your next trough. Still got a southwest flow aloft, and again, don't think it's going to clear. I, I think, of course, you know, obviously, Wednesday is going to be much colder and, and cloudy-ish. But uh, looking at Thursday, uh, we'll stay cloudy and, and very cool. And down below that, some light rain shows up over south Alabama. Very cold air digs down into Texas. Our friends down there in uh, even McAllen and Brownsville might see upper 20s uh, Thursday morning. We'll see highs probably in the uh, in the 40s around here on both uh, Wednesday and Thursday. But keep in mind that air is coming off that huge snowpack up north. Uh, the NAM is showing 41 on Wednesday, and that sounds about right, and then 45 on Thursday. It's going to be chilly. And then Friday, that trough begins to lift out. Very vigorous energy coming at us, and down below that, here comes this uh, uh, rain shield on Friday. Again, that's a close call, but uh, it looks like it's warm enough for just rain. We'll check the European. Almost identical. If anything, this model a little warmer, so uh, we're just going to mention a cold rain on Friday. And, and stick with that. And, of course, once we get this thing out of here tomorrow night, we'll have much higher confidence on that deal. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, that system is gone. And, again, uh, the 540 line is down below us, and it's going to be a chilly day. Highs probably in the middle 40s. Sunday should be better. Uh, sunny with uh, highs maybe low 50s and uh, maybe mid 50s. So Sunday of the weekend, that will be the nicer day with the warmer temperatures. Let's check early next week. Monday, guess what? Another trough coming at us. Positive tilt. Rain breaks out again. And again, that looks snowy for cities like Indianapolis and Chicago and Detroit like they need more. And again, uh, we've got a wet look there. And then the following day on Tuesday the 8th, it's on by and it turns cold. So again, for now, that deal next week. We'll just mention rain on Monday, potentially a change to flurries on the backside with a cold 1,032 millibar coming down the pike. And the end of the forecast on the 16th, uh, Nothing overly exciting there. A couple of, but most of the energy is staying north of us, and that looks pretty quiet and cool. But there's the NAO, and it's strongly positive now, uh, really on into mid-February. And, and we think it's going to be cold, but with that NAO going positive, the deeper trough should be off to the west. But that poses all kind of problems because what happens, the cold air that gets in here is going to be very shallow. We'll have probably a sustained southwest flow aloft the whole time. So, again, I think it's going to be cold and unsettled. And, and with a shallow cold air mass, that might lead the, uh, make the door open for more ice than snow at some point. We don't know that, but we've seen that look before. So, again, it's going to be very interesting to watch the weather in coming weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.